Okay, this video is going to show you how to live stream from YouTube using your IP camera. If you have a scenic view that you would like to share with the world, this is a great way to do it using a $35 camera. So I'll show you which camera I'm using and how to set it up. But the main purpose is to show you how you can stream YouTube live so that you can show share with the rest of the world your panoramic panoramic view. My son lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and this is the view that he gets so he can share this video or his live streaming with the world. So I'm going to show him how to do that. My daughter just moved to the St. Thomas Island in the Caribbean. And this is the kind of view that she will have. So hopefully her and her husband will buy one of these 35, which I guess now $50 cameras, and live stream it on YouTube so we can view all these beautiful scenes that they've got from their balcony. So hopefully they'll learn from this video how to live stream on YouTube so the whole world can see the beautiful scenery that they've got. If you want to share your view with the world, this is the camera to get. Now, when I purchased it about a month ago, it was $35, actually $34.99. It's gone up some, but it will probably drop back down. For $35, this was a fantastic camera for sharing your view on YouTube live streaming. So that's what this video is about, is how to make this, how to get this to live stream on YouTube. I like this camera so much that I went ahead and bought an upgrade camera because I thought it had more features. But for my purposes, this is overkill and this is the best one right there. But I did show you the unboxing and whatever of this camera. It's a nice camera. It's a little lower price. Again, when I purchased it, it was $99, not $120. So for some reason, everything's gone up in price. A little disclaimer, when I was telling you about this one here that I opened it up, I said it supports up to 200, 215 or whatever megabytes. It's megabits, not bytes. There's eight bits in a byte. So I stand corrected on that because I know the people are going to call me out on it. Back in early September, I took an Amtrak train to visit my son in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And while I was there, he purchased this camera so that he could uh, live stream or actually live view his uh, view from the back porch because it's a beautiful scenery uh, showing the desert and downtown Albuquerque. But also that's where they have the hot air balloons. So they, they usually fly those half a dozen or a dozen every single day. So anyway, I was so impressed with this particular device. It was only $35 for this camera. And uh, I have several different cameras, Hikvision, Dawa, uh, different other brands that I have on my house. But I was so impressed with this $35 camera, I had to go buy one. So uh, this is not the one I'm going to make the review on, but the next one I, up I bought uh, because it had more uh, features on it. Okay, so I was so impressed with the other one, I decided that I had to have this particular one. It's about two or three times more money than the other one was, but... Uh, it's got a lot of different features that I want to test on mine. Uh, but again, uh, I've got several different varieties of uh, more expensive cameras mounted on my house that uh, I piecemeal together. But uh, these are very expen uh, inexpensive for what you get. And they're a very nice camera and they do a whole lot of stuff. But it's not just the camera, but the capability. I can live stream on YouTube, and I, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to set this up as a DVR and, or NVR and uh, live stream on YouTube. So that's what I'm going to show. Okay, first thing in the box is a little thank you card, and it's got a, on the back. It's got questions. It's got the email address, and it's got a phone number. So if you have if uh, questions, go ahead and uh, submit them either email or phone. And next it comes with a quick start guide. So you just scan that on your camera and you're off to the races. But you do have to uh, add this uh, little app to your phone, whether it be Android phone or Apple phone. Okay, here's the information they, they provide you. 
and this is a, just one page and the rest of them are all in different uh, languages so this is all you get but it's all you need and then they provide a drilling template and this is the connector if you want to connect it to ethernet which i will not be that's the uh, advantage of this little thing it works off wi-fi instead of ethernet and i thought man that's not a very good idea but after my son showed me his and then i purchased one it is fantastic working off wi-fi i had no idea so we don't need that here's the mounting screws okay now this is the power supply this particular one is for the usa market and this is a 12 volt now this looks like a lot of your other power adapters but this is a 12 volt one amp so that's 12 watt and here here is the uh, end of a connector that goes inside the device so that's your power this is the camera itself here's the antenna kind of scary looking looks like a, some kind of a little animal got the eyes so that's it easy viz easy mounting bracket infinitely adjustable and underneath this cover is a micro SD card slot and I believe you can put up to 256 megabyte of micro SD storage on this I will be using a 64 uh, because I have some available so that's what I'll be running for my NVR recorder but again the purpose of this is to show you how easy it is so that if you've got something you really want to show particularly uh, in my case I want to show my uh, birds eating at the bird feeder and those pesky little squirrels trying to rob the food but anyway I uh, use that to live stream on Netflix or excuse me not Netflix YouTube I'll be live streaming YouTube and I will show you how simple that it is and easy to do okay enough running my mouth let's see what we can do about getting this camera video onto YouTube live streaming there's two pieces of data we need and one of them is the verification code and that is on this little sticker right here that come on the neck of the uh, uh, camera so I removed mine and stuck it on the box but you could stick it on your refrigerator you could stick it on your window wherever you want but save that uh, little sticker because you need the verification code on it for initial setup but once you get that set up then we'll show you how to use your phone to get the uh, the other information the uh, the IP address so there's only two pieces of information to live stream that's the verification code and the IP address that this camera utilizes and we'll show you that from the app okay this is the easy viz running on my Android phone and down at the bottom you have three little icons and to get the IP address we're going to use that one right there now we're going to go to function settings and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're going to go to LAN live view click on start scanning now what it did it found my all my IP cameras now these are different brand cameras I got Daiwoo, I got, I got HitVision, I got uh, uh, boy a couple other more brands so it found them all so we're going to go to the one that we we're going to do a review on Okay, that's it right there now we're going to get the IP address of this particular one and the IP address is 192.168.0.163 colon 8000 that's the information we need now this this address is specific to my router your numbers will be entirely different but that's how you get it now if you happen to lose that little sticker but you need it to set up your app on your phone but afterwards if you lose it you can find the uh, the number on this phone so I'll show you how to do that click on that little icon there click on the camera that you wish to use click the settings button you scroll all the way down to come to about and click on that that gives you the serial number 
and it shows the barcode. We'll click the barcode and that will show you the uh, password number. And that's where you find the verification code. So if you lose that little sticker after you have this app installed, you can always get it there. Go to your settings and there you can find your verification code and serial number. Now that you have your device verification code, which I showed you how to do, and your device IP address, which I showed you how to do. You use this format right here, and it'll look similar to this right here, except you'll put in your own IP address plus your, ad your code, your device code. And you pop that into VLC. So that's the information you're going to need right there. Okay, now there's two pieces of software that you're going to need. You're going to need VLC and OBS Studio, which is free. So both of these are free. So what we're going to do, we're going to need to download the VLC, but we want the six installer for 64-bit version. Now I'm running Windows 10 64-bit, so that's the one I'm using. So we're going to download that. We're going to get uh, OBS Studio. Again, it's free, so we're going to download the... Uh, download version for Windows. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'll get those downloaded and I'll show you what is next. Okay, we opened up our notepad and this is what we had set up before. We highlight that and we copy it. Now again, this is using Windows 10. So I'm going to go to Media. And I'm going to go to Network Stream. And there I'm going to paste, paste it in there. Now these digits right here those are the ones that I just overwrit, overwritten so that uh, it doesn't show my actual one. So I'm going to go back and change that to what it is, my device code. So I'll change that, then I'll come back and show you. Now it's running on VLC. Now it's running live. Now here's the address we use, that RTSP192. That is my local uh, network IP address for this camera. Yours will be entirely different. So now it's running on VLC. Now we're going to use that information to post it into OBS Studio. But we have to have this information. Once we get that, then we don't need this to run VLC anymore. Okay, as you see, I've already got several cameras set up. So we're going to set up a new one. So we're going to click the plus and we're going to type uh, EZVIZ. Okay, let's go ahead and add the source. Click on the plus. We're going to click on the VLC video source. So we're going to go ahead and just call it video source for the right now. So we're going to click OK. Now here's where we have to add this. So we'll go ahead and click the plus. Now we're going to add the network path. Okay, now it's asking for a path. That's the one we added for VLC. So just to make sure, let's go back and get that Okay, this is one we created earlier, so we're going to go ahead and copy that. Copy. Now again, I'll have to change this right here to the actual one, but this is a sample of what I'm showing you we need to do. Now I come back to OBS Studio, add the network path, then I go ahead and paste it in here. Of course, then I've got to change these letters right here, but I just got it as a sample. So go ahead and I'll change those back and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got the camera running live. See that right there? Keeps changing the second. And OBS Studio. So that's running live. So the next step is to go to YouTube and create a YouTube uh, client and then set it up. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I've logged out, logged out of my YouTube account and now I'm going to create a channel. So I just Pricked up a uh, email address, Google address, and now I'm going to create a channel. So, okay, save and continue. We didn't, okay, I guess we got to set something up. So, I'm going to go ahead and set it up. Okay, uh, I added a picture and description. All I wrote was test, and now it allowed me to save and continue. So we're going to do that. Okay, it's created. Uh, we have not uploaded any videos or anything, because what we want to do 
is be able to live stream our camera. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go click go live. Okay, there we are. Live stream isn't available right now. Enable. Gain access. Access streaming on the desk. First, you need to verify your phone number. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I am verified. Okay. Let's see what we got to do now. Okay, we're verified. Let's go back and try it again. Go live. Okay. Okay, we're going to disregard that. So we're going to go ahead and click stream. Well, I guess I have to do something here. Build in webcam, streaming software. Okay, we're using streaming software. Something went wrong. It takes 24 hours to activate your account for live streaming. Once activated, you could go live instantly. Okay, so we got to wait 24 hours before we can do this. So, instead of me using this one, I'll go ahead and use mine, because I'm not going to wait 24 hours. Okay, I'm at the go live setup. And this is the screen you're going to see, go live. All right, now it's waiting for my streaming software. Now, what, here's the key we need right here. Default stream. So, I need to copy that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy it. Okay, I need that. Now I'm going to go back to OBS Studio. I go to File, and I go to Settings. I go to Streaming. Now here's where we would add the stream. So we're going to delete that. And since we copied it from the YouTube, we're going to paste it. Okay, now we're going to click Apply, and we're going to click OK. Now, we're going to start streaming. Now, let's go back, and let's see if we stream. Holy cow, we are now live. That's it. Okay, now let's go back to YouTube right there. Click on that, go to your channel. Bingo, we are live streaming. So that's it. We're done. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple little tips. One, since this uh, camera is actually portable, uh, what I wanted to do was mount it on a uh, two by four, or in my case, I happen to have a spare eight foot long, uh, two or one by four, I believe it was. So I just mounted on that and used tie wraps to tie it to my um, railing. So that makes it very portable. Of course, outside I had a plug, I just plugged it in. So it makes it very portable. So there again, just mount it on some a board, a two by four, whatever, whatever length you want it and tie wrap it to whatever you want. That way it makes it extremely portable because it is Wi-Fi. The second thing, you want to run on a little micro uh, mini PC. You can get them for $100, a little over, because they're very low powered. They don't use much electricity. It saves on the environment, it saves on your wallet. And they work perfectly. The only thing you have to be careful of when you're live streaming 24-7 is your data cap. Most, if not all of your internet providers, they have a data cap of about one terabyte per month. So be careful of that, otherwise you'll be spending big bucks. You may be lucky where you have a provider that does not have a data cap. So anyway, that's what you're going to have to find out. So that's what I want to show you. It took me a heck of a lot longer to make this YouTube video than it did to get my camera, get it mounted, and get it all set up and streaming YouTube. It only took me about a half hour total. So it took me a heck of a lot longer to do this. But anyway, I uh, hope to see your YouTube videos soon. Thank you.